Well, first of all, water vapor cavitation was studied. It's the first object. The second object is an azonium. The third option is tap water from the tap of Omsk city. And several options from surface reservoir. This is the Irtysh, the Tara river and Lake Akunyola. According to the results of the study, it turns out that Izonium is very close to natural water. And in some moments even exceeds the water that we took from the source in August of this year. In relation to water vapor cavitation, if we compare the samples in this way, then water vapor cavitation, according to the measured parameters of this particular technique, it turned out to be the same. There are the primitive decline signs and the tangent of the angle of dialectical losses, same. And as for the isonium water, there were unacceptably very positive moments here. Firstly, the tangent of the dielectric loss angle is 10 times higher than the objects obtained by water vapor cavitation and from tap water. And most importantly, the dielectric permittivity was also 35% higher than that of tap water. What conclusions can be drawn from this? The water that has undergone water treatment in the water utility and the water that the undergone water vapor cavitation, the energy effects that were carried out on it led to the fact that the structure of this water is, it is extremely finely dispersed. There are no serious long formations. It follows from this that water molecules do not act as a separate formations. Each molecule separately from other molecules, they gather into certain groups. The polymerization of molecules occurs. Only this leads to the fact that with a smaller molar mass, the substance can be a liquid and not a gas. Simple called isonium. The permittivity is higher from the reason that the water has pronounced ferroelectric properties. I know that, unlike other liquid media, water under normal conditions, atmospheric pressure and 25 degrees Celsius has an electrical permeability of 81 units. You probably will not find another such object in a liquid state in nature. Moreover, at lower water temperatures, water shows a pronounced ferroelectric transition, which is manifested in ferroelectrics. Ferroelectrics are characterized by the fact that they have spontaneous polarization. I'm just pointing out why the permittivity is higher, because the polarization of those formation, not just molecules, but the formation of molecules, it leads to an increases in the permittivity. This spontaneous polarization in this water is higher. It turns out to be very energy intensive. I can only assume that this needs to be investigated. Hi, I might. The water, the water that has undergone undergone water treatment in the water utility.